Hi, wine friends, and happy Wine Wednesday. If you are new, I'm Ali from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. If you don't know, March is actually Washington State Wine Month, and so I mentioned in my last video with the um, wine.com haul that I was going to share some Washington wines with you. So today I'm going to do a red wine from Washington State, the 2016 Intrinsic Blend. It is one of the wines that I grabbed in my wine.com haul, which I will link down below in case you missed that video. I purchased it on wine.com for $20. I will say, I don't believe that the 2016 vintage is available anymore. Um, when I was doing my research, it looked like wine.com was sold out, but I grabbed that haul maybe a month ago, maybe not even. So um, it's one of those wines that has sold out um, in the meantime. So, but there is the 2017 vintage, so you can grab that. Why don't we take a look and just check out this wine art. I mean, isn't that just fantastic? Look at it. So um, what's great about this wine art is that it's actually done by a street artist in Brooklyn named Zimmer. He, uh, I know very little about street art, so I admit that everything I'm going to tell you is just from Googling, but he used what's called wild style to create this label. Intrinsic also has a Cabernet uh, and uh, Zimmer did the label for that wine as well. So the point behind Intrinsic Wine was that it was trying to bridge the gap between the agriculture side of winemaking, which is where the grapes grow and all of that, and the urban side of winemaking, which is where you enjoy drinking the wine that is made. So that is then also part of why there's the tie-in with the label and the street art. Both street art and winemaking are very similar in that uh, they're really trying to reflect both the environment around them and the artist that helps um, kind of create what's going on. Why don't we take a look? It is actually a nice dark ruby going on. On the nose, um, getting some blackberries and some blueberries. Also getting some licorice. And a lot of cedar. There is definitely a lot of cedar. This has spent some time in oak. And I think that there's a bit of um, flowers in here, maybe a little bit of lavender. All right, why don't we give it a taste? Cheers. Mm. This is definitely a nice, juicy Washington wine. So lots of blueberries. Lots of blackberries and getting a lot of fruit in here. But also getting some really good secondary notes uh, and getting some licorice, some milk chocolate, not dark chocolate, definitely milk chocolate. Still getting those cedar, kind of oaky cedar notes. The lavender is a lot less though, so I think it's really kind of more on the hint of lavender and a hint of mint side. And the wine's got, I would say, medium body, medium acid, and then like maybe medium to high tannins, because I'm definitely getting a little bit of gum pull, but it's balanced really nicely. So it's not um, distracting. It's really well integrated with the wine. I love this wine. I think it will go really well with uh, stuff in a grill. So whether you're grilling lamb, grilling steak, burgers, hot dogs, I think it would go really well with grilled portobello mushrooms. This is going to be a nice wine to have some of that smoky outdoor flavor to it. So um it's an easy drinker. It's going to go down really smooth. Just be careful because it does have a little bit of a kick to it uh, on the alcohol level. Well, it's the middle of Washington Wine Month. This is the first time I've really had a chance to delve into a Washington wine so far just because of work travel and everything else. And this is a perfect way to do it. It's a wine that I think is 
a really good showing of what you can get in Washington state. I think that the story behind how intrinsic wine was created and the use of um, Zimmer's artwork is just makes it, it just makes this wine super unique and even more fun to drink. It has a good story behind it. So all the way around, I am I'm a fan. I'd love to know if you've had a chance to try this wine. I, I've definitely been seeing it pop up all over the place. I mentioned I think that I bought it on wine.com. The Cabernet, which is the Cabernet um, by Intrinsic, is the one with where the uh, woman is just in a red dress, and that is in our Costco all the time. The this one, the Intrinsic Red Blend, I see in our grocery store. So I've seen it in a bunch of different places. The first time I actually grabbed it was when I was actually out in Oregon with my friend, and we grabbed this Intrinsic Wine Blend. Um, also in the grocery store, they had it in the Target grocery store out there. So I'd love to know, have you seen it? Have you had a chance to try it? And um, I'd also love to know, what do you think of Washington wines? Do you have a favorite? Are they, are they wines that you drink? Uh, since we're talking Washington Wine Month, uh, tell, me, tell me your thoughts. I think that that is everything that I have to share today. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate those. If you aren't already a subscriber, you can click on the icon right here or click on the subscribe button down below. But don't forget, also click on the little bell because it'll notify you when you I upload a new video, which is going to be every wine Wednesday. And if you are looking for a recommendation, you can find one right there. Thanks for joining. Happy Wine Wednesday. Cheers.